Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina if you're new, and if you're not new, I just want to thank you so much for continually watching uh, my content. It means a lot to me, and I hope that you enjoy this video. So obviously the world is a different place these days, and most people are staying home. Uh, I still wanted to make Easter special if possible. Uh, luckily, I had picked up a couple of items before we were encouraged to stay home, really before any of the craziness happened, uh, so that helped. And then what I did was, when I had to go to the grocery store, I went to Walmart, which if you know me, you know I don't like Walmart, but I was trying to do just one stop for everything. So I went to Walmart and I picked up the groceries I needed, as well as any household items, and at the same time I picked up just a couple more really just practical Easter things, things that I kind of actually needed to buy anyway, but I'm going to give them uh, as Easter gifts so that, you know, there's a bit more uh, excitement and a few things to open, but there are items that I was going to buy anyways. So my hope is that this video encourages you to do the same, to uh, just pick up some practical items at the grocery store or to order things online. Um, I do not want this to be a video that encourages you to leave your home if you don't need to. Uh, I know in different parts of the world, maybe things are slightly different, but most places are on uh, at least social distancing, but possibly on partial lockdown. So try to stay home, try to stay safe and healthy. It's not worth a few Easter candies. Uh, but if you have to go to the grocery store anyways, here are some practical items you can add to your kids' Easter basket. So my little guy Levi is 21 months old. So obviously this basket will be geared towards that age group, but some of the items in here could be easily for two, three, four year olds. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you the food items. I haven't given him a lot of chocolate or things like that. Don't get me wrong, he, he still eats things he shouldn't, but I definitely don't um, give him just chocolate bars or candy or anything like that. So I try to find him some treats that I won't give him the whole package, <laughs> I'll let him have a little bit of, uh, while still maintaining at least somewhat of a healthy diet. So these are the items I found and he will be excited with anything. So first of all, I got these. I know they're a little juvenile. Uh, he definitely doesn't need to be eating these anymore, but he loves them. He thinks they are so good and he can polish this off really quick. Um, so I feel like for the price, they don't go very far. So I don't buy them for him almost ever. I think the last time I bought them was when we uh, road trip to Michigan. Uh, this next item I have never purchased before, so hopefully he likes it. Uh, I liked the ingredient list better than some of the other things in the store, so we will see if it's a hit. And that is this one here. Uh, it does say that it is 100% fruit and vegetable snack. It doesn't have added sugar. And um, they come in like little shapes. So I thought that made them just a little more fun, and he will get you know some excitement out of that. So that was one of the treats that I'm going to put in his uh, Easter basket. Uh, this item here is maybe completely random, but this is what happens when you're shopping uh, during a pandemic and there's not much in the stores and you're trying to get Easter things. So I found these here. Uh, it is pasta and they come in uh, chicken, cow, horse, pig. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Dog? I don't know. Um shapes he's gonna love those so obviously y'all have to wait till we can cook them but he's gonna think that's really exciting and it's just something i can give him that's practical not full of sugar but something that i would normally never buy so i did find that at walmart i want to see it was about four dollars canadian which is expensive but um there's a limit of one for pasta and there was like probably 10 boxes of pasta in the whole store so i was happy to find that so this last item that I got for him is probably the most sugary, terrible for him item. He will only have probably one or two of these, um, but he will enjoy it. <laughs> and I didn't buy him an Easter bunny, which I know is kind of a shame, but maybe next year, this year, he's just kind of little for it and doesn't understand. So that is these Oreos. They are like vanilla. Yeah, like they're the golden ones, but in pink color and Easter egg shape. 
So he will think those are exciting because he knows what eggs are um, since he helps collect them and understands what real eggs are. So I know he'll like those and uh, I'll give them one or two as a treat and then um, they will magically disappear and some older kids will eat eating them, aka my husband and I. So that was all the food items for his basket. Um, I then got him some bubbles. He loves bubbles. Um, I've had these for a while. I just didn't really want to use them in the winter time. It just didn't seem practical. So uh, it's a good spring item and I think he will get a lot of enjoyment out of that. Speaking of spring items, I also got him a new pail and shovel. He absolutely loves shovels and pails. Um, and this would be perfect for the sandbox. It was from the dollar store. Uh, again, this is one of the items that I had purchased prior to um, all the craziness going down. So these other items I got for him are really items I needed to buy anyways, but I'm going to add them to his Easter basket because he will like them. Um, one is this t-shirt, $4 at Walmart. Um, I thought that it was, you know, fairly cute. I also like that it's gray because it's practical. Um, I'm not buying any white t-shirts or anything like that. He doesn't have as many uh, t-shirts as I would like him to, kind of going into spring. So I just picked up one more just to kind of help round out the wardrobe. Um, it does, if you know me, it does kill me a little to not be able to thrift store shop or find clearance or, you know, look around for really good deals. I just, I got to work with what I got and I am trying to avoid uh, going out as much as possible. I'm not a shut-in, I still go outside, we go to the barn, um, go over to grandma's house, but that's it. I'm trying to not grocery shop, trying to not, you know, do anything other than that. So um, I was hoping to buy everything I needed for at least the next two weeks, but hopefully three weeks, and Easter falls within that, so that was, you know, uh, a good way to do that. So I got him this pair of rubber boots. Again, brand new, so they were $15 at Walmart, which I didn't think was too bad for brand new. Uh, this last item is uh, socks. He needed some socks. So there is Cookie Monster, Elmo, and I don't, I don't even know who this is. I don't watch Sesame Street. Uh, Levi doesn't even watch Sesame Street, but he got an Elmo shirt. Uh, second hand that someone gave to us and when he wore the shirt we would always say that's Elmo on it and now he wants to wear the Elmo shirt like he gets up in the morning and he asks for Elmo. Um, we have since shown him a few clips of Elmo but he actually only became obsessed with Elmo because of his shirt so that's kind of funny. Um, so when I found those socks I was like yeah I mean they were like five or six dollars at Walmart which is really expensive but I'd rather get him that than something else junky. He needs them, so he will be very happy. And every morning when I get him dressed, it will be um, one more reason to, you know, get out of bed and get dressed because a lot of times I have to wake him up to go to grandma. So even if it's just socks that he loves, we'll go with it. So this is the basket that I have for him. Um, I'm going to try and fit some of the stuff in it, I think, or find some other basket. Um, this cute bunny basket, and it's not very big, because clearly I went overboard, but most of it's practical items. Um, so I'm going to try and get to get his stuff in there, otherwise he will just use that basket for collecting eggs. And on the subject of collecting eggs, this was another item I had purchased before all of the craziness started, and that is these eggs here. They are little bunnies, and they open up so I can put some treats inside them. Uh, the treats will most likely be these that I will put inside. Um, hoping that he likes them. If not, we will just do some of these in them. He's going to think it's fun just to look for the eggs. He has no idea what Easter is. So um, it's more for my husband and I and just to have something to look forward to. Something a little uh, different than the everyday life while we're here at home. And every day seems kind of the same. So I will hide those Easter eggs hopefully outside. Um, I'll try and take a few little videos of it because I'm sure that he will find it quite exciting. And uh, I think that that's, that's it for Easter. I bought some Easter candy for my husband and I. Uh, for the rest, I'm not even sure what we're doing for Easter. I feel like all of life is up in the air, so we'll see. We'll just play it by ear. I'd love to know in the comments below, do you get your kids things for Easter? I know growing up, I 
um, didn't get presents for Easter. It was just uh, some chocolate or whatever that my mom would hide. Um, I don't know if we're going to make this, you know, a tradition or whatever, but considering the state of the world right now, uh, it was fun to just have something to look forward to and something just to break up the everyday uh, monotonous, you know, long days right now. And so that's why we're doing this this year. We will see what happens next year. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. It's totally free. And I do try to put out two videos a week. So there will be lots more content coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!